Okay, this video is page 12, and the purpose of this video is for you to solve all the problems first, and then play this video when you're ready to check your answers, and if you get anything wrong, just fix it. Okay, the directions for 20 through 23 say, find the distance between the given number and its opposite on a number line. So I'm going to grab this number line right here. You can see me kind of wiggling it back and forth. And I'm going to use this number line to kind of show how easy these can be. So read carefully. It says between the given number and its opposite. The given number is 6, and 6's opposite is negative 6. Well, the distance between 6 and 0 is 6 spaces, and then to get to negative 6, it's 6 more spaces. So it's a total of 12 spaces. And I think the word spaces should be included in your answer. Okay, the next one, go ahead and erase. The next one, the distance between negative 2 and its opposite. Well, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2, and the distance is 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a total of 4 spaces. the distance between 0 and its opposite. Well, 0 is its own opposite, so 0 is here and 0's opposite is also here. And to get from there to to get from 0 to itself is 0 spaces. And the last one, from negative 7 to positive 7, to get from negative 7 to 0 is 7 spaces, and to get from 0 to positive 7 is 7 more spaces. It's a total of 14 spaces. If you had trouble on those, it's very well because you um, weren't looking at a number line. If you use your number line on these, it's really pretty simple. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Number 24 says, what if? Three contestants are competing on a trivia game show. The table scores their scores before the final question. Question A reads, how many points must Shauna earn for her score to be the opposite of Timothy's score before the final question? Now, Shauna has 18. And the question is trying to get, uh, is trying to get her to get to the opposite of Timothy's score. Well, Timothy's score is 25, negative 25. The opposite of that would be positive 25. So what would Shauna need to do to get from 18 to 25? Well, she would need to score 7. I'm going to put a positive there because she would need to add 7. You don't have to have that positive sign if you don't want to. She needs 7 points. Question B reads, which person's score is closest to 0? Now some kids think that this the answer has to be positive or they think the answer has to be negative, but let's think about it in terms of spaces. Timothy's score here is 25 spaces from 0, Shauna's score is 18 spaces from 0, and Kaylin's score is 14 spaces from 0. 14 is the least there, so the person whose score is closest to 0 is Kaylin. I'm going to write Kaylin's name here, because it didn't ask for her score, it asked for her name. And question C, who do you think is winning the game before the final question? Well... These two scores are both below zero, so it tells me that they're probably not winning the game. This person's score right here is above zero. It's the only one that's positive. I think it's Shauna. And it says explain, and I would say because her score is positive. The other two scores are negative, so therefore she's winning. Unless it's a game, and it doesn't say this, unless it's the kind of game that um, wants you to try and get the lowest score. Okay, a couple more. Okay, we're moving on to the hot questions here. These, these are this, That word hot stands for uh, higher order thinking skills, and these are often the hardest ones, but in this case, they're not too hard. I'm going to grab our number line and bring it down. Probably just put it right here. And the question says, number 25, communicate mathematical ideas. Which number is farther from 0 on a number line? Is it negative 9 or is it 6? And explain your reasoning. Once again, if you use a number line, it's going to be pretty easy. If you put negative 9 right here, you put 6 right here, and you simply ask yourself, which one of those is farther from 0? If you go to 0 and count, to get from 0 to 6 is 6 spaces. And if you go to 0 and go the other way, and go from 0 to negative 9, that's going to be 9 spaces. Now, some kids would argue and say, well, that's negative 9 spaces. But there's no such thing as a negative space. 
whether you're counting to the left or you're counting to the right, doesn't matter, there's still spaces. So I'm going to type my answer here. Which number is farther from 0 in a number line? I would say negative 9 is farther from 0 because it is 9 spaces away from 0. And 6 is only 6 spaces away. That is good enough. We're not talking about which one's positive, and we're not talking about which one's negative. We're just talking about which one is farther from 0. All right, let's move on. And I'm going to move my, i got to delete that and move my deal up here. I'm on number 26. And number 26 says, a number is k units to the left of 0 on a number line. Describe the location of its opposite. A lot of kids get hung up on this idea of k because they say, well, I don't know what that means. Well, let's say I put k over here. Now, I wasn't quite sure what it was. Let me just put k right here. I wasn't quite sure what it was. I don't know what the number is. But what do we know about it? Well, everything on this side over here is going to be what? Hopefully you're thinking it's going to be negative. So where would its opposite be? Well, its opposite would be the same distance, but it would be on the positive side. So let's go back and reread the question. It says a, k is, uh, a number is k units to the left of 0 on the number line. Describe the location of its opposite. Well, this is going to be negative k, so this one has to be positive k. So its location will be, I'm going to type, it's, uh, uh, I'll do it this way, the location of its opposite is k units to the right of 0. That's it. All that we're looking for there is for you to notice that the opposite of to the left would be to the right. That's the most important part of your answer. The location of its opposite is k units to the right of 0. All right, so we have, I think, one more question here. Nope, two more. Question 27 says, Roberto says that the opposite of a certain integer is negative 5. Cindy concludes that the opposite of an integer is always negative, explains Cindy's error. Well, let's talk about what Roberto says. Roberto says the opposite of a certain integer is 5. Well, if, if Roberto's integer was 5, the opposite would be negative 5. So Roberto's right. Cindy said that all the opposite of an integer is always negative. Well, what if I told Cindy to uh, tell me the opposite of negative 7? What would be the opposite of negative 7? Well, that would be positive 7. So what she means to say, what Cindy means to say, is that the opposite of any positive integer is negative. But what she's wrong about, and the opposite of any negative integer, is positive. Okay, one more. Question 28. Explain how to use a number line to find the opposite of the integers three units away from negative seven. And I want to point out to you that this is a plural, integers plural. So this would be a really good one for our number line. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and bring it down. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, delete that. And I've got my number line. And Let's just go find negative 7. Negative 7 is right here. And we're looking for the integers that are 3 units away. 3 units away could be to the right. 1, 2, 3 could be this one. Or it could be to the left. 1, 2, 3 it could be this one. So it says explain how, and I kind of just showed you. I would say find negative 7 and then count 3 spaces to, to both the left of negative 7, which is negative 4. I'm sorry, that's negative 10. And to the right of negative 7, which is negative 4. The two numbers are negative 10 and negative 4. 
All right, good job.